Well, hi, I'm Jeff Strong. I'm creator of the Auditory Brain Stimulation Therapy Rhythmic Entrainment Intervention. I'm also co-founder and creative director of BrainShift Radio. Uh, you're probably wondering what I have on my head today. Um, this is one of our EEG devices where we're creating a brain-computer interface for BrainShift Radio and our REI custom programs. Take a look here. I'm listening to uh, a focus track, one of our um, level three category three focus tracks. It's a Gunga Focus 9.4 to 10.6 beats per second. And it's, it's mostly the rhythm and just a little bit of the ambient in there. I'm into listening to this track for a few minutes and so my brain is kind of settled down. Um, you'll see here some activity in different parts of my brain. Um, but the main thing to look at here is what's what we call the focus widget. This is a, um, it's an algorithm that takes a look at the relationship with alpha and beta and theta and shows you how well the brain is focused. And you'll see here that I'm staying focused most of the time. There's some obviously activity going on as I'm listening. Um, this isn't real time with the headset I have on right now. This was, this was something that was recorded earlier. But it's real time to the music that you hear playing. And um, you'll see here that I'm pretty steadily in the focus zone. And you're going to see um, pretty even activity across, across my brain. Uh, you'll notice the colors on the head plot are pretty, pretty consistent. You'll see some variations. We're relating those to the specific rhythms and, and what's going on with the ambient. But this is the idea here is that we're collecting this kind of data and then we're taking that data um, and using it as a way to predict what, uh, what to deliver someone. And then of course the next step is as well as to create uh, a headset that's not as cumbersome as this. Uh, this is an eight channel headset that we're using right here, but we need to pare it down quite a bit. I want to pare it down basically to to two or three channels to be able to make a headset that is that is very inexpensive or better yet to be able to create an API, an interface that can work with a variety of different headsets that are already existing on the market. So if you already have one you can you can hook into BrainShift Radio or the custom program and use that as a way of driving the music that's chosen for you. So this is Focus. Uh, like I said, this is pretty consistent. The other thing we're doing here with the Focus is we're, we're also running our, through our uh, continuous performance test, our Focus test, and looking at what's going on in the brain as someone is going through this CPT test. Uh, the CPT test is the largest study ever done uh, on focus using music and silence. Um, and we've had thousands and thousands of people go through this test over the last six years. And I have a tremendous amount of data about how it's working. And so now what we're doing is we're, we're correlating that data with what's going on during the, during the process, both with the silent condition, which is the beginning part of that test, and the music condition of that test. That's helping us further refine the algorithms for focus. So we're not just looking at focus, we're looking at meditation. Uh, there's been quite a bit of research over the years being done on, on you know, meditation, what happens in the brain when you meditate. We've talked about with brainwave entrainment and, and, and entrainment of drumming rhythms that if we're playing a traditional shamanic rhythm, which is four beats per second, a meditative rhythm, four beats per second, we should get a, a very similar corresponding theta frequency in the brain. And if you take a look at what, what's going on in this particular instance, um, you'll see a bunch of activity going on in the head plot, but you'll also see the, the theta frequency spiking. If you'll see in this particular um, study uh, that we also had spikes of alpha going on. Those seem to be connected with the ambient track that's playing. So um, we're seeing some really cool things. Uh, this is a really exciting thing for us. And uh, we're moving forward with this idea of creating a, a brain-computer interface that's going to drive both BrainShift Radio um, and the REI custom programs. But later on this year, we will have new new players that will work universally for BrainShift Radio, um, and we're adding more music, obviously, uh, in the process of all this as we refine the process of of uh, gathering this data. So. Stay tuned. If you're interested in, in being on the cutting edge of this, uh, definitely sign up for BrainShift Radio. Play with it now. So I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, definitely go to BrainShiftRadio.com.